What's up guys, Nick here with a theory video about Alien Covenant. So with the release of the first trailer, we actually got some clues provided to us for, you know, what the story is going to be, who's going to be in the movie, following up from Prometheus, and what the general tone of the movie is. So this video is going to be talking about what happened to Elizabeth Shaw and if her fate has actually been revealed in the very first trailer. Now leading up to the movie, Ridley Scott initially said that Numi Rapace was actually not going to reprise her role as Dr. Elizabeth Shaw in Alien Covenant. Covenant. However, that was later changed when Deadline reported that she was actually spotted on set for a couple weeks of photography already after the film had been shooting for a couple of months. So what it seems like to me is that Numi Rapace's role was initially going to be much larger than it actually is in the final film. To me, it seems like maybe she only appears in like some small segments of the movie, maybe in a flashback showing how David and her actually landed on the planet of Paradise, you know, because at the end of Prometheus they said out to find the engineer's homeworld. That was the whole goal uh, that Shaw wanted. She wanted to know who they were, why they wanted to destroy us, and she wanted to learn, you know, just more about them in general. And if you actually look at the official plot synopsis for Alien Covenant, it says, headed toward a remote planet on the far side of the galaxy, the crew members of the colony ship Covenant discover what they believe to be an uncharted paradise, but it is actually a dark, menacing world in which the only inhabitant is the synthetic David, played by Michael Fassbender, a survivor of of the doomed Prometheus expedition. Now look at that right there, it says the only inhabitant. And actually in the trailer, I pointed this out, if you look closely at a certain scene where you can see Catherine Waterson's character Daniels, she actually picks up a set of dog tags with what looks to be inside of the juggernaut ship from the first film Prometheus. Because there are a couple shots leading up to this, you see the expedition team of the Covenant walking through what appears to be a jungle I guess on Paradise, and they look up, they see the derelict ship crash, the juggernaut, it looks like it crashed through a set of trees, and the next couple of shots are the crew inspecting, you know, the wreckage of the ship, and you see Daniels hold up the dog tags, and I'm guessing that David didn't have dog tags, so could this be Elizabeth Shaw's tags? We have to also take into account that this film is set 10 years after Prometheus, so could Shaw really have survived out there on that planet for 10 years, or through the entire flight? It's also clear that we can see David in the trailer too, he's a hooded figure, he's probably trying to look at, you know, what the Covenant is up to, what they're doing, scouting around the planet, so... I'm guessing if he's got his head reattached, uh, he and Shaw made up at least to some extent, she actually put his head back on at some point in the movie, or maybe a flashback while they were flying there, who knows, but pretty interesting to think about. Um, personally, like I said, I think that Shaw is dead at this point, I think that unfortunately she isn't going to be able to meet her makers, like she set out to at the end of Prometheus, but anyways, let me know what you guys think of this theory down in the comment section below, and what do you think happened to Shaw? Like, where is she in the movie? She, do you think that she's actually going to have a substantial role or not? Also, if you guys are new to the channel and you like this video, subscribe for more Alien and Predator content here at the Hybrid Network because we do a lot of news updates, uh, theory videos, breakdowns, and that sort of thing. My name is Nick and I'll catch you guys next time.